significant because we learned through the last few weeks about Israel being set free and walking through the wilderness. Now you need to catch this. You need to catch this because today needs to be a day of severance. Something has to break. Something has to be torn. Something has to change. I'll, I'll explain it. Because some people have been walking around the wasteland or been walking around the wilderness, but it's not a wilderness of your own making. Does everyone know when they're in a wilderness of their own making? Yeah, we know we put ourselves there. There are those times. But this wilderness has not been of your making. Let me explain it. Joshua and Caleb, they saw the promised land and they saw that it was good and they saw that it was possible and they said we can do it. But they were outvoted by a people that had no faith. And therefore, regardless of what they believed, has anyone ever stopped believing that God can? Has anyone stopped believing that God can? Has anyone ever stopped believing that revival is possible? Because it is. And I don't believe there's anyone in this room that doesn't believe that God can. Amen. But were you walking around the wilderness? Were you walking around the wilderness? Has it been hard ground? Has it been difficult to even see people come into the kingdom of God? Has it been hard ground to plow? You need to get hold of this word. Someone needs this today. Because that wilderness that you've been walking around in was not a wilderness of your making. It was a wilderness that was necessary because of those that chose to not believe. Those that chose to not have faith. God had to deal with that generation. God had to deal with that church. That church that said, no, no, this is, we're going to settle for this. This is where we're going to stay. The giants are too big. It's not worth it. And you, just like Joshua and Caleb, had to walk around a wilderness. You absolutely believed it was possible, but you still had to walk around a wilderness. But I want you to know right now, that's dead. Those people are dead. That system is dead. That regime is dead. That lack of faith is dead. And God is saying, now you need to start walking. Now it's time to take the promised land. Now. You need to let go of the blame you put on yourself, thinking it was you that put yourself in the wilderness. It wasn't you. It was those you were associated with. It was those that you were around. Just like Joshua and Caleb. And it's time to let go. It's time to let it go. Maybe we could have done more. No, you couldn't. Because you were in the wilderness. Because now is the time. Now is the time. God wants to move. God wants to move. Now is the time. Now is the time. Send us. Use us.